Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzleforest, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Cradle of Humanity expansion, where I am sitting on a defense station in Paranid Space, because I have been crapping um, uh, pff, Marines from this defense station in Paranid Space. Why have I been grabbing marines from this defense station in Paranid Space? Because if we look through here, then over here and the Puzzle Ferret's Wrath, uh, and then have a look at what it's got, and look at this, then we have a bunch of marines, uh, some of the veteran variety, quite a lot of the veteran variety actually, uh, and two of the not so veteran variety, uh, because I've been mucking around trying to get my folks to be more in tune with what I want for taking over um, pirate ships. So, uh, it is ready for the taking over of pirate ships, almost. Uh, and when it is, then we're going to be able to take over pirate ships, which is going to be great. But first, we have a mission. And our mission is over in the void. So, we need to get over there. Now, it's been suggested to me that I should probably try and use the uh, autopilot uh, to get places. <sighs> I'm a little bit worried about the autopilots. What am I doing? Oh, I know. I'm going into the uh, the mission briefing, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about the autopilots. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work or if I'm going to end up uh, lost somewhere. What's that? Oh, it's my satellite trader. What's it doing? Oh, I see. It's going over there. Yes, that makes sense. It's selling satellites for me at 32 million we have now, which is pretty good. Undock. And... Let's go into the other thing. Brilliant. And then... Uh, potentially. Potentially, let's start the autopilot. Oh, I'm so worried about this. Every time I've used the autopilot, I've either ended up bashing into gates or, uh, you know, other, other equally rubbish things. But let's see, shall we? Autopilot engaged. Great! Where am I going? Where is it taking me? Is it taking me to the right place or what? Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does in... Second, third person. That's the one. Third person. I don't need that. There we go. Uh, can I go into the... Ooh, there we go. Ah, I get to just take my hands off the controls and watch as my ship crashes into the nearest... No, um, as, as my ship flies through space wonderfully uh, without any problems at all. But I mean, at the moment it's just in the uh, in the highway, which is fine. I mean, that's no problem. That's not the difficult bit. Do something impressive, uh, and, uh, pff, autopilot. I do, I do hope I haven't dumped it in the middle of a load of asteroids. Because Entering uh, system. I don't know Process. where in uh, in in the void it's going to dump itself. Come on, then. it's not getting a chance to load up the uh, the highway because it's uh, it's going too fast. There we go. Finally loaded up the highway and then into the next sector. No highway. Ooh, look at all Second of the asteroids. Contact. Oh oh oh. Uh. Uh, obviously, I wasn't supposed to be just watching this do this. I was supposed to be going into the map and uh, and using the map to accomplish things. I wonder if I can do that uh, whilst it's in autopilot. Entering system. And Avoid. if if it won't take it out of uh, out of stuff. Anyway, it's it's uh, it's it's done its job now. It's got us over here. Ugh. Can I turn the autopilot off now? I'm worried. <laughs> see. I can't go into the map. That's interesting. Oh, of course I can't go into the map because I've done the thing. You know, it's taking us over unknown here. Object. Unknown object! Yes. Autopilot is taking us to the unknown object. <sighs> it's worrying. Uh, this unknown object should be a spaceship. Uh, and it should be a spaceship that I have to get into. Uh, and it should be a spaceship that I have to get to from... Uh, it's a very difficult little manoeuvre, this one. Because uh, this spaceship is, if, if if I'm right, surrounded in radiation. It might not be the same spaceship, it might be a, a different spaceship. I might have to go to a spaceship first. Nope, it's a data fault. Interesting. I don't need you to take me to this any further. You... Oh, welcome. Yes, hi. You must be the new assistant. I am. 
Great stuff. I thought it was going to be a ship. Ship's the next bit. Okay. Hey, what about the data vault? Right. Should protect her from the hazardous zone she is currently in. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. However, she seems to be having trouble with other onboard systems and has not yet been able to escape the caustic cloud. Yes. Apparently, the radiation messes with the navigation systems. Otherwise, yes. she could have simply <laughs> left at any point. Mm. Do not worry. Her supplies are quite sufficient to hold out for quite some time. Hmm. Yeah, I believe it. Like with her task instructions, she should have left navigational beacons are in the hazardous zones before. Ah, so we had to find the ship first. Locate them and find out what frequencies she's monitoring in order to establish a contact. All right, but what about this? This data vault here. A rescue mission. Yeah. I can barely contain my excitement. Yeah. We should hurry to save the research findings oh, and the right, assistant right, from right, right. position. Ha! Ah, the research findings, yes. He's more bothered oh, about the research yeah. findings than he is the assistant. Alright, I will consider the uh, data vault later then. Uh, in the meanwhile, we'll, we'll get over here. I might save first, because I know how horrendously dangerous this particular mission is. Right, okay. So let's get this saved. Uh, then I can feel horrendously in danger uh, over there soon instead of directly. Not that I'm putting off going into this horrendously dangerous poisonous cloud of radiation death, but I might be putting it off. Let's try the autopilot again. At least it'll get us closer to it. And I don't have to worry about the controls. Ha! Well, we'll see. Yeah. It's definitely going to take us into that radiation. What's this doing around here? Go away, Kach! Get out of here! I have no use for you at the moment. I've been doing a few, a uh, few Kark missions. I did some Kark missions to get some, uh, to get some more rep with the, uh, the Paranid, so that I could buy their Marines and buy their burst ray guns for my Gladiator, because the burst ray guns are amazing. Uh, so yeah, definitely wanted them. All right. Over here we go, and then stop. Autopilot. I don't want to be closer than that. No chance. Right. Let's go into the uh, the thingy and do the what's that button? The that button doesn't ship it. has gone. Finally, the Great Reef Nebula is no longer cloistering itself behind that peculiar <laughs> radiation. Well done, assistant. No problem. Potentially. Hi. Scan to locate the nav beacons. Just did it. But be careful to stay clear of the hazardous region. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to see the hazardous region. Although I think that the long range scan might have helped there. Is all of that helpful to the radiation thing? Is 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 it? I can't tell. Is that a navigation thingy? I don't know. What's this? This looks like an object. Is this? A navigation beacon. It could be. Let's have a look. Yes, it is a navigation beacon because it's doing the blinky thing of navigation beaconness. That's what it's doing. Wonderful. All right. So, what the heck? Huh. Seems your colleague was exceptionally cautious. <laughs> and I advise you to be the same. Yes. Don't set off all of those. Got it. She installed protective measures to deter meddling Terrans and other criminals. Hey! Less of the criminal bit. <laughs> no harm should befall either your mechanical or your biological vessel. Uh-huh. I'm gonna die, aren't I? If you lack like nav beacons, you better pick some up. Hey? What? We'll need them later to establish a link to your colleague. Oh, you want me to actually get some navigation beacons? Oh, rats. Why didn't I get some before? I should have known that this was going to happen. Really, considering the fact I've done the mission before. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I should have known that this was going to happen. Okay, uh, well, in that case, we need the nearest dock, don't we? 
So, let's have a look on the map. And uh, they're over here. We could get some from here. So, we could start the guidance to there. Uh, yeah, it could do that. Let's. This seems like another job for... Autopilot engaged. The autopilot! Come on, autopilot. Get me there in one piece. Again, let's put all of our faith in the autopilot. And hope that it doesn't get us smashed into everything. I am so worried about this. Anyhow, at least it gives me chance to have a good look around the ship whilst we're uh, we're flying. And it's not often you get the chance to do that with without um, with the engines going at the same time. I quite often like pause and stop and, and don't do that bit. Ooh, we're already Entering here. System. Let's see how it navigates all of these asteroids. Oh, it cheats. Yeah, it's going straight in there. I, I hardly ever use these two things. I mean, I know it gets me there quicker, but I just hardly ever use them. It's as simple as that. <laughs> How's it going to handle docking? Or is it going to handle docking? Or is it just going to leave us there at the time? Huh. Because I didn't actually tell it to dock, did I? Hmm. Yes, all I did was tell it to go there. Come on then, autopilots. Just take us there. If, you, if you're not going to dock us... Just take us there. That'll be a good start. Done? Is that it? Is that the end of your autopiloting? Are you going to drive us straight into the station? What are you doing? Autopilot disengaged. Ha! It's giving up. That's what it's doing. Yeah, well, I didn't order it to... Uh, I didn't order it to do that anyway, so it, that, that makes a lot of sense. And it's put us right next to the station, which is great. Okay. All right. I'm feeling a little bit more confident about the autopilot. A little bit. Not tons, just a little. Just enough to feel like it's not going to smash me into everything immediately. Docking it might take a little while before it smashes me into things. Okay. Now then. Down we go. What they should really do is have different grades of autopilots. Uh, so that you, the, you you have the autopilot that smashes you into everything, and then you can have a, a slightly better autopilot that doesn't, uh, and that sort of thing. Docked. You know, a bit like the docking computer. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. I am pleased to be aboard as well. Now give me some navigation beacons. Uh, let's have twenty because why not? What's why why shouldn't we have twenty navigation beacons? I don't need the missiles. I've literally got no missile launchers, so there's no point in those. Uh, I keep the laser towers and everything else, so that's all fine. Give me those navigation beacons. Brilliant. Four, three, two, one, and undock. They are really quick at printing those navigation beacons. That's for sure. All right. Because that has to be how it works. It has to be printed, right? It really does. Okay, so again, it's saying that I can do this automatically, so let's do it. Autopilot. Go for it, autopilot. I'm challenging you to do this again. Yeah. Okay. In that case, back to this view because we trust the autopilot, right? Yeah. Wow. You can you can get some great views when the autopilot's on and you don't have to feel like you're uh, you're in danger of smashing into everything. Which, of course, I still feel like I'm going to do. There's a lot of asteroids around here. There really are. How are you going to deal with this, then? Huh? You're going to be fine, aren't you? You're going to take us all the way round without the asteroids in the way, and you're going to get away with it. Ah, I don't feel like giving this autopilot a good enough challenge. I think that I should be uh, sending it through many, many asteroid-laden uh, sectors and see if that works. Yeah. I wonder how it deals with um, like sectors that have new stations in them. Because a lot of the stations are like planted there where you would expect them to be. Right. Straight into the highway. And on. Brilliant. Then through here. Yeah, it's very good, autopilot. Keep going. See if you can complete that. I like now that the uh, sometimes things just jump in by the looks of it. Uh, like the big ships have a tendency to uh, to Entering look as if they're system. jumping in rather than uh, rather than actually going through the gate. Oh heck! I don't really want this on autopilot at the moment. 
because now we're in the dangerous sector. Well, I suppose we can get a little bit closer. Go on, then. We're still going at 3,000 and something. Is it going to slow me down nicely before that cloud of yuck? No, it's not. Autopilot. Disengage. Disengage. Yes, forget that. So I don't want to go straight into that yuck. Okay, let's do the scan. Uh, scan, scan, scan. Great. Just to scan the area. And then slowly we will see gaps in the radioactive yuck. Potentially. That looks like it's up there. Alright, let's go over there then. So that's... Unknown object. No, it is not where that is said to be. What's this then? What is it? Isn't that supposed to be those? I do not know. What's the unknown object then? Where is it? Down here. Alright, let's go over there then. At least we've got the navigation beacons now. So everything is going to be fine. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Nine, seven, six, and a bit closer, potentially. Which one's the navigation beacon? They all look like death to me. Yeah, it's about to set off soon, I think. Ah, that's the navigation beacon. I can't select it, though. I have to get a little bit closer. Oh, dear. There's loads of mines here as well. I know, I can know, I see the mines. What's that about? I wonder if I can find these uh, this navigation beacon on the map. Wait a minute. Here we go. And... That was the navigation beacon. Why am I going up to next to all of these things anyway? It seems like a dangerous thing to do. Let's select that one and go over there. Because this one's apparently fine. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know how what I'm supposed to be doing with these. Nav beacons around the hazard region. Yeah, I found the nav beacons. What are you supposed to do with them? Am I supposed to grab them? I mean, it's it feels like I'm supposed to be scanning those things. In which case, I should go into scan mode and try and scan them, right? So maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm not scanning the navigation beacons. Did I actually select the right one? Because it's obviously... A, no, I selected a mine. It's a friend foe mine, which is neutral, which is, uh, this is computer speak for not quite yet, but soon I'm going to kill you. That's, uh, that's what that's speak for. Okay, where's the navigation beacon? There. All right. Nav beacon. I feel like I should destroy those mines because those mines, ah, oh, yeah, I knew that that was going to happen. I wasn't appearing threatening. They just decided that I was threatening. That's not my it fault. Be helped. <laughs> no, it can't be helped. <laughs> You're a bit loud. No, actually, it's not you that's a bit loud. Kill the thingies. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Whatever you're saying, it's, it's second to kill the thingies. <laughs> there. Who, who's that? Cerberus. Cerberus. Sentinel. Oh, okay. Uh, now, mines. They're a little bit more difficult. They are, because uh, you can't always target them all that easily. So let's try the targeting them with four. Yes. Which involves... There's a little sweet spot in the... Uh, in, in when it gets to shooting mines. Because uh, you can't always target them ever so easily. Oh dear, this is bad. This is coming straight for me. It's coming straight for me. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, whilst that's reversing. Yeah, as I said, there's a sweet spot for mines. <laughs> okay, we're, we're a little bit away from it now. And if you're close enough to actually have the little white dot, uh, then when you, you, you hover over the mine itself, it will... Uh... That's too close, isn't it? That's way too close. It's going to get me. Maybe we can lead it away from this area. I don't get it. Why can't I target it when... Uh... I couldn't target it when I was closer. And I couldn't target it when I was further away. Target the mine. It, it has a little bit of a wobbly. 
on the uh, on the targeting when you get close to it. That's that's what it is. But it wasn't giving me the little white um, symbol to say that I was close enough to uh, to do that, which is weird. Okay, have I done this one? Does this one count? Because the others didn't count, and that was really disappointing. Wait. Okay, I will wait. I am waiting. You see the waiting? Incredibly patiently as well. Hmm? Well, do I just need to scan the one? I hope I need to scan just one. I don't want to scan all of the others. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I wonder if, uh, if the others have set off like this one did. In which case, they might be firing at other people. Let's see. Oh, I do have to scan the other ones. Joy! Oh, it's taking it over. Nav beacon. Ah! It is now my nav beacon. Wonderful! Stealing the illegal nav beacons. Great. <laughs> well, I mean, I could have taken I could have taken those nav beacons then, couldn't I? I didn't have to go and get my own. Because if they're already there, and they're mine, why not steal them? You know? <laughs> anyway, we'll head over here. Uh, which is a lot further away than I thought it was. Get over here faster. Right, now those are going to need destroying, aren't they? Because they are Laser not going to like me. One. Well, they're set to neutral at the moment. How weird. Mm, okay, how close do I need to get to them for them to all attack me like the other one did? Huh? We know it's only a matter of time. Huh? Suspicious. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the the map and see if we can find that particular nav beacon. Where are you, nav beacon? You are there. Good. Let's target you then. And uh, then let's head in closer and hope that they don't all start shooting me. Those friend foe mines are definitely definitely going to shoot me, so I might as well just shoot them now. Aha! There you go, friend foe mines. Stuff you. I'm blowing up on my hole. Apart from the ones that I might not be able to see. Because of all of the blue everywhere... Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, you. Get out of here. Laser tower and you. The Laser Tower Mark II is surprisingly Danger. robust. Okay. Laser tower I didn't Mark see that, um, that horrendously dangerous mine. Hopefully there won't be any others. Please stay away from me, horrendously dangerous... There's another horrendously dangerous mine, isn't there? Would you go away... I don't want you here, please. Why am I moving away from it? That's okay. We were moving away from it, so that's fine. Alright, uh, is there any more horrendously dangerous mines around here? What are you? I don't know. I don't trust any of it. I don't trust a bit of it. It's not one. Alright. There's another horrendously dangerous danger. Mine. Found it. <laughs> okay, let's stay here. Whilst there's still a navigation beacon to bother with. Hang on, wait a minute. Is there another mine there? Yes! Yes, there is another mine there. Can I target that thing? I can. Is it moving? No. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, well, that gave me something to do whilst the navigation beacon became mine! Became mine! Very good. Nav okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to scan another one, but I'm all out of time, so we'll have to scan the other one in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye now.